Okay, today's July 25th. This is what I'm going to go through today. I went through a box yesterday and posted it. And I'll let you know what I find. Well, thus far, I'm about, uh, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I'm about, a little over halfway. I'm about halfway through this box, and I'm not finding a whole hell of a lot of anything. Uh, two in the, a couple in the 40s, one more nickel, uh, a few in the 50s, and a 38. So I'm going to open a couple rolls live and see if... Uh, See if the luck changes it. Oh, look at that, right off the bat. <laughs> we got another 48 uh, S. Okay. Um, we'll go through this and see if live maybe uh, changes my luck with this. It's a pretty, pretty dry box so far. And it is from um, Loomis. It's not something I've gone through. And most of the nickels I go through and in my town here the boxes are marked or they keep track of which ones plus when they re-roll them they use a different uh different paper that's the same blue mesh it's just a blue or a uh yeah it's a blue plain wrapper so i will i would know although I, one time i did get a box and one of the tellers that isn't familiar with me coming in four or five times a week didn't realized and she handed it to me i didn't realize until i was probably 10 rolls in and i thought wait a minute these aren't loomis these aren't from the fed they're they're from the bank we'll do three rolls here live and see what happens that 48s so far is the only thing and we'll go through the rest of these and then i'll Turn the camera off and go back through the rest of the box and see what what we find. Pretty, pretty dry box though compared to normal. I thought that was gonna maybe be a war nickel, but it's just something that's all gummed up and crappy. I did find two more 2009s. It's really strange. I hadn't hadn't been finding any 2009s. Uh, the first 24,000 nickels, the first $1,200, I didn't find one 2009. And then I found four in a box. And the very next box, I found four more. And I found two in this one. I guess it depends on what part of the country these these boxes are coming from. Yes, I do go through them pretty quick. I know that. Uh, anything that looks a little bit off um, regarding error coins or a year that I know there's a lot of error coins, I'll throw aside and take a better look at it later. Right now, I'm basically going for anything 1960 uh, and before. But uh, I saw somebody was collecting all Canadian nickels, regardless of year. Uh, I uh, I don't know why, but I've been pulling all my Canadians out and setting them aside just in case. Uh, and I come across that person again. I don't remember who it was. It was on Facebook and. Uh, I see they get, I'll contact him, and you know, he pays the shipping for him. I'll give him to him for base value. I don't uh, have any use for him, of course. And I'm right, right here near the Canadian border. We're only, uh, as the crow flies, about 75 miles from Canada. So. 
and I'm not, you know, the, the oldest, uh, oldest Canadian I found so far in nickels was the, uh, this one here, 1949. Will the camera wake up enough to see it? You know, they boast about this Logitech C920. And I, it has a problem with the step focusing. It's a, what was it, 18 step or 12 step or 12 step? Yeah, he drinks too much. Uh, set that aside. Check out this 2005 and see if it's a die break. And he's only got three legs, but no, he's got four. All right. I'll go through the rest of this box and, uh, and come back. Well, here's one. Here's an, uh, a 20 cents from the Singapore in one of these rolls. Interesting. We'll continue. Well, that's the end of the box. And uh, got a uh, 1943 Philadelphia war nickel and a 20 cent piece from Singapore and uh, 44. Other coins, various coins between 1938. I got 138, 239s, uh, several 40s, 50s, and a couple of really nice, uh, nice BU full step uh, nickels from the um, early 80s. That's about it for this box. So wait till tomorrow and get another box to see what we find. Good luck.